Hello, welcome everybody to another Facebook Friday, right? It's a Frilici Friday. Hopefully you guys have all had an awesome week, the beginning of March, right? Like we're on our way, spring will be here soon, hopefully, 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 right? Yeah, yeah, so we have um, actually some fun springy things to play with today on Facebook Live. We are going to be featuring the beautiful, this is the abstract beauty hey deb how are you the abstract beauty designer series paper you can kind of see all the and hello philomena um all of the beautiful fun bright colors and then the the um gold accents too it's just gorgeous thanks for the share too philomena so that is one side of the paper and then here is the other side again just fun bright springy cheerful paper <laughs> and deb thank you for sharing the video as well yeah so we are gonna have an awesome time playing with this paper i've seen so many cute projects made with this and i was um a little hesitant i think because of the size like the four it's four by six size so it's hard to make um you know like offer it at a card class i love this pattern though too look at that that would be great for like a baby card right so in terms of like multiples you maybe um use either a smaller piece um if you're making multiples of something um or you just have to buy a couple packs of the paper too which is kind of a fun option also but yes yeah, so we're gonna play with this beautiful abstract beauty designer series paper today on facebook live and i have so many other good things to like share with you guys i'm looking around at my table I'm like oh what do i do first but you know me i've got my list i will oh my gosh actually where is my list <gasps> i think it's at my computer oh no i have to go grab it because now i'm completely lost ladies like i think i could do it because everything's laid out here but no, okay hold on hold on one moment i really have to this is freaking me out. I've never done this before. I'll be right back. One sec, ladies. Okay. <laughs> Good. I was like, what am I going to do if it's not at my computer? What am I going to do? Okay, sorry about that. Okay, we're back. Everything's good. I'm going to be right back on track. So yeah, um, what the first thing that I want to mention is that celebration is over, right? To uh, Monday actually was the last day to get free celebration items through Stampin' Up. But I have um, accumulated a number of extra celebration items. So I, like I've done, excuse me, in the past, I've decided I'm going to continue celebration here in Alma. So if you order through me and put in a $50 order uh, or a $100 order, if you're wanting one of the $100 items, I do have a number of them still available. Basically, it's a while supplies last only kind of situation. Um, if I do need to mail it to you, there is additional shipping to get, um, you know, the stamp set or DSP, or whatever shipped to you. But I would love to be able to offer those to you. So if you spend $50 um, anytime right now, like I said, while supplies last, you can still get a free celebration item if there's something that you missed out on so let me know i have kind of a list a running list and i'll just keep track of that and um you know as they go then they won't be available and we'll find something else for you so yeah so celebration is technically over you can't obviously get it through stamp it up any longer but i'm going to continue it as long as i have items to offer so let me know if you have any questions on that or interested in taking advantage of that okay the other kind of crazy thing is our annual catalog, you guys. So celebration just ended and this annual catalog, I think this is the first year that this has happened. I'm trying to remember now. We've just kind of changed things. Maybe last year was the first year. Anyway, but this actually, this annual catalog actually ends at the end of April, which is kind of going to be here before we know it. The thing that you'll want to know is that the retiring lists, everything that will retire on our annual catalog will be um, released at the end of this month, at the end of March. We will learn all the items that are retiring out of here. Hello, Pam. Thanks for joining us. Good morning to you too. The one thing that I do know <clears throat> that consistently happens year after year after year is the uh, in colors, the 2020 
2022 in colors will be retiring. So these colors right here, I'm trying to kind of fan it out so you guys can see all the colors. So we have Bumblebee, Magenta Madness, Just Jade, Cinnamon Cider, and Misty Moonlight. Pam, thanks for the share also. These colors will be retiring when our annual catalog retires. These are the things that always sell out. I say it every single year. So make sure if you need cardstock in any of these colors, get your full pack of cardstock, get your variety pack of cardstock, whatever it is that you need. Um, ink um, pads, ink refills, that's a big one. If you have the ink pads and you don't have the refills, make sure you get those. The markers, the blends, the ribbon. Actually, I don't know. If we have ribbon, well, there I think there are a few. There are some definitely. I can think of one, the gingham that has the just jade and white gingham ribbon. I don't think, yeah, because I was bummed because that cotton ribbon that we had last year didn't carry over. Um, something to think about, though, that this year's in colors, that ribbon is beautiful. That open weave ribbon, I use that all the time. Um, that could possibly be retiring. Sometimes they carry it over and sometimes they don't. But yeah, so anything in these five in colors is definitely retiring. So make sure you get what you want um, from these in colors. And I would do it sooner than later. Do it like now and order through me and use the host code and you can still get celebration stuff and make sure you get these in color products while you still can. Do it before the retiring list come out, definitely, because this is these are the things that always sell out so fast. So just want to make sure everybody um, knows about that. And yes, Pam, I know these are gorgeous colors, aren't they? Just fun, bright, bold, beautiful colors. I'm going to miss them too. Although it's always fun to see what they're going to come up with next too. It um, I think new colors especially like kind of reinvigorate things um they you know then they'll come up with new designer series paper featuring the new colors so it's always a fun thing to see the new colors as well too and i'll be doing an in color club also that'll start um, I guess in May is when I'll start that. So um, be on the watch for that. I'll offer like I've done in the past where you can get the cardstock, the ink pad, the ink refill, the markers, the blends, the ribbon, embellishments. That's another one um, to make sure you get those. They're, those These are the square, like the square gems in these ink colors. Those are pretty cool too. So, okay. So yeah, keep that in mind. I will let you know as soon as the retiring lists come out. We'll be sharing that information with you guys so you know what you need to make sure to get while you still can. Um, the other thing that they have going on is called the Savings Are in Bloom promotion. And it's basically running this entire month of March. And the kind of fun thing is if you have not gotten your the mini cut and emboss machine they're actually offering it at a 20 percent discount right now in this savings are in bloom promotion as well they have um it looks like one two three four five six or maybe like 13 different bundles that instead of a 10 percent discount they're actually offering a 20 percent discount on them so we i'll i'll read them to you because i've got them on my flyer here and um, if you go to the Stampin' Up! website, they're going to be on there too. Um, but we've got the All Squared Away bundle is 20% off. The Art Gallery bundle, Beauty of Friendship, Celebrate Sunflowers, Garden Wishes, Hydrangea Haven, Pansy Patch, Quiet Meadow, Seascape bundle, Sweet as a Peach, Welcoming Window, What's Cooking, and Wild Cats bundle. Um, and so, and I think they actually said... Um, a few of them are called like returning favorites. So for example, the Celebrate Sunflowers bundle, that's one where like in the catalog right now you can buy the stamp set and the dies, but not in the bundle, but they are offering the bundle right now and giving you 20% off. So here's kind of, this is backwards I know, but this is a little kind of peek at um, all of the bundles that are available. And then there's that one other one and then the mini cut and emboss machine. So all these things are 20% off this entire month, but I I think it does say something about um, kind of while supplies last like I don't think they're gonna let it go on back order so if they sell out of everything that they have then they won't be available anymore so it's just kind of what they're doing the back order thing they're trying to avoid all that additional shipping um, charges that they were incurring because that, that was happening quite frequently I think um, so let me know if you have any questions on that or if you um, are interested in that little mini cut and emboss machine. Great little machine. It, everything folds up just like the big one does. And you can carry it, take it wherever you need to. So I think that's pretty awesome. 
Okay, let's see, I gotta check my little list here. I'm just so happy I found it. <laughs> um, oh, another thing to let you guys know about is the celebration, celebration, party, shindig, happening event is going to be next Saturday, which is March 12th, I think. Let me, do I write, did I write that down? Um, yeah, next Saturday, March 12th. It goes from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. It's kind of just to stop in um, whenever you can fit it into your time frame there, anytime between 11 and 2. We're holding it at the Peace Lutheran Church, which is where I do all my classes and events now here in Alma. And if you are long distance, um, so I emailed and I posted on Facebook, everyone that earned their spot at this event. If you are long distance or if that day time doesn't work out for you, we will put your make and takes together for you. Hello, Vina, and we will get everything sent out to you or put out on the porch if you're local um, for porch pickup. Hello, Jan. How are you? Thanks for joining us. Um, so yeah, we should have lots of fun again, 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. next Saturday. If you've earned your spot, I would love for you to come and let me spoil you. We're going to have some snacks, some treats. So we're going to do some stamping with some make and takes. I'm going to make a little something fun for everybody. There are um, gifts that I'm giving every Everybody. So it's just a great thank you from me to you for your support of my Stampin' Up! business, especially during celebration. Um, so thank you guys for that. I truly appreciate you and, and your orders too. I have to say that, right? Because that's what kind of keeps me going and doing all this is your orders. So I do truly appreciate those. So thank you very much. Um, and we're going to have an awesome time next Saturday, March 12th. Okay, I hope everyone that um, qualified and is local especially, or if you wanna make a little road trip, come see us, come hang out and enjoy the afternoon with us. Okay, if you have any questions on that too, let me know about that. Um, okay, now I think we are, yeah, let's do it. We are gonna draw for our Calming Camellia stamp sets. So I have, let me make sure I've got one, two, three, four, five. I have five stamp sets to give away, five like brand new stamp sets. And then I actually have this one right here that was my stamp set, a barely like gently used stamp set that I thought, you know what, I'm gonna give this one away too. So we have six stamp sets in total to give away. I'll give away the five brand new ones first and the last the sixth name will get my gently used Calming Camellia stamp set. And if you remember, this has been happening all through celebration. So basically since the beginning of January, if you ordered $50 from me and then any increment of $50. So if you ordered $100, you got two entries. If you ordered $150, you got three entries. Or if you ordered $50 in January and $50 in February, your name is in the drawing, say two times for the Calming Camellia stamp set. So we are gonna do our drawing right now to give these away. Okay, so let me make sure I've got lots of names in here. And again, thank you so much for your orders. And I'm just so excited to give these stamp sets away because they were super popular. Uh, but I know everybody wanted one. So and it was hard. It was hard to, you know, that's a lot. Put a $300 order in um, or find friends, you know, to get orders together. It, it happens. Believe me, I've placed those kind of orders myself. So, uh, but you know, sometimes you can't do that. So I wanted to make sure to have another way to help people get those. Okay, I've got a whole slew of them like all stuck together. So we gotta pull those apart. There we go, okay. All right, we're drawing uh, six names. I was gonna say five, but that's not right. Six names and let's see the first one. Darn it, there's a bunch all stuck together again. Okay, that was bugging me. I'm like, can I like, all right, we gotta get those pulled apart. There we go. Okay, now, too many, too many names in here. That's not true. Is that ever possible? Okay, here we go. First one is Miss Robin Wellens. All right, congratulations, Robin. You are the first winner of a Calming Camellia stamp set. Okay, I'm just gonna put those right there. <clears throat> okay, next we have, oh, let's see, who's it gonna be? Oh my gosh, they keep getting all stuck together. It's driving me crazy. Sorry, guys. That's why my like eyes are always bugging out. Miss Gwen Larank. All right, congratulations, Gwen. You are the next winner of a Calming Camellia stamp set. All right, we got four more to go. Hello, Miss Kathy. How are you? Thanks for hanging out with us today. Beautiful, sunny day here in Michigan, anyway. 
Um, going to have the glare, going to have to be dragging the table around, I'm sure. Next winner is Miss Lori Cresswell. All right, congratulations, Lori. You are the winner of a Calming Camellia stamp set. All right, we're halfway through our drawing. We have three more to give away. Okay, next winner, we have Miss Denise Ledbetter. Congratulations, Denise. Another proud winner of the Calming Camellia stamp set. Okay, two more to go. All right, <clears throat> my throat is all itchy today, tickly or something. Okay, <clears throat> just went over, I went over to my sister's house late last night. Um, she has two cats. They're like these huge, fluffy, furry cats, um, and they shed a lot. And I'm fairly allergic to cats. I think that might be what's going on here. Um, so yeah, they're beautiful. They're, and they like walk all over you too. It's hilarious. They just kind of like... You know, you're sitting on the couch and they just walk all over you. So <laughs> it's kind of fun. Okay. All right. Next winner, we have Miss Deb Northrup. All right. Congratulations, Deb. You are the winner of the last um, brand new Calming Camellia stamp set. So we have one more to give away. Like I said, this is my gently used. You can see from the back, I've already kind of got it pulled apart there. Okay. Our last winner of the Calming Camellia stamp set. The sixth stamp set goes to, do I have one in my hand? I do. Ooh, Lori. Okay, so I am going to draw. Am I going to draw again? Or Lori, you're going to give this away to someone else that you know, I think is what's going to happen. Lori won two times. Well, I guess that, that could happen. I didn't really think about that happening, but that could happen. All right, so I, I think I know Lori has a good friend that likes to do lots of stamping too, so I bet I know who, who might end up with that stamp set. So, okay. All right, congratulations, ladies, and thank you again, like I said, for all of your support. That's very sweet, Philomena. <laughs> okay, all right, I gotta dump those names out and get names in for our next drawing. Okay, what are we doing now? Let's take a take a peek. Um, oh, I know. I wanted to mention just a quick reminder about our one-day retreat that's happening right here at Alma. It's on Saturday, May 7th, 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. It's basically just an awesome day to come and craft and make and do and chat and eat and just hang out um, and enjoy lots of um, time with other friends that are crafting, kind of see what everybody else is up to, bring your own projects, or if you don't want to be social, put your earphones on and just sit down and crank out whatever it is you want to be working on. So it's a day for you to do whatever you want, however you want. But basically, I'm going to spoil you with a goodie bag, with some make and takes, with some cute um, table treats we call them little treats we'll put out on the table for you throughout the day. I'm going to feed you. So you just basically get to come and hang out and play and have fun and maybe make some new friends. So we'd love to have you join us. The one day crafting retreat, like I said, right here, May 7th of this year. It is, what's the cost? It's $64 for the entire day and the goodie bag. Um, if you RSVP and prepay by this uh, March 20th, you actually get an extra free gift in your goodie bag. So let me know. Final RSVPs are due on Friday, April 3rd, so about a month from now. Um, we've already got a great group of ladies coming. There's lots of room, though, lots of tables, room to spread out. So um, love to have you come join us as well at the One Day Crafting Retreat. And hello, Miss Roseanne. Thanks for joining us. Um, okay, I think we're going to do, I'm just trying to like check and make sure. I think we're ready. Let's do our next drawing for, what do we have here? These are the polished dots. We've got a little glare there. These are beautiful. These are on back order right now too. I'm always like, oh my gosh, maybe I shouldn't be giving these away because what if I need them for something since I can't get them, but they'll be back. Um, I think just in a couple weeks, I said that we'll be able to order these again. So yes, the polished dots, we're going to give these away. They're these beautiful, can you guys see, um, kind of a real, um, like a pale pink here and then kind of a clear crystally um, look on these. So beautiful polished dots and you guys know the drill, right? Your name is in the drawing right here. If you share the Facebook Live video, which I see lots of people sharing already, truly appreciate your share, so thank you. Or if you just signed up for my email list for the first time, your name is in here as well. Um, another thing that I always like to mention is signing up for my email list is the best way to keep track of well, what's going on with Stampin' Up and what I have going on here locally with my online classes and 
all that good stuff, promotions um, through Stampin' Up. So make sure to do that if you haven't done that already. That link, it will be above this Facebook Live video after we get it uploaded um, this afternoon. So hello, Miss Lisa, how are you doing? Thanks for joining us. Okay, here we go. We have one lucky winner, Miss Michelle Ford. Hello, how are you? Thanks for joining us as well. We have Tracy Horton is the winner of the Polished Dots. All right, Tracy, I will get those sent out to you. So thank you for your share too. I appreciate that. All right, let's see. I've got too many, like all these. I, I have so many drawings and I put them all in this um this, this little trash bag here so I have like my tubs where I'm like trying to keep track of okay now these need to go in here for the next one <laughs> okay so I'm very I actually am very organized um you guys would be very proud of me so okay all right what are we going to give away on our next Facebook live for sharing the video and signing up for my email list haha <laughs> the brushed brass butterflies do not try to say that quickly because I don't think it will work out very well for you right the brushed brass butterflies i really have to think hard when i say that but these are super cute they're like um like a brass like a metal almost they're not like the resin plastic um like some of the other dots that we have these are like a really um and not that the plastic like the resin ones aren't good but there's just something that's so nice about these um that kind of brass metallic um thick and sturdy too um so beautiful butterflies that you can kind of add to your projects so we're going to give these away on our next facebook live for sharing the video and signing up for my email list so we'll do that yeah um okay what else what else what else let's see mm, i'm checking my notes here okay that's no i'm gonna do that when i turn the camera down um oh i know i want to say Congratulations to my good friend, Stacy Decker. She just bought the starter kit um, at the very, she snuck in at the very last minute of celebration on Monday. Um, so congratulations to Stacy. She bought that awesome starter kit. She's now a part of our team, our Inkspired Stampers team. Um, and she's actually moving from Chicago back to Michigan um, so that we can craft together more often. So we're both super excited about that. So congratulations and welcome Stacy back to our Inkspired Stampers group. We're happy to have you as a part of our group so yeah that awesome starter kit deal i'm sure so if you missed that one it's always a great deal guys know that too um the starter kit is gen well it's always you pick 125 dollars in product and pay only 99 dollars plus sales tax so it's always an awesome deal if you're ever thinking about ordering more than 100 dollars, you probably ought to just get the starter kit because then after you do that you get that awesome deal plus you don't pay shipping either like on a regular order you pay 10 percent shipping on your order um, but then you also get 20 percent off of all all future orders after that so keep that in mind the starter kit deal is always awesome um, in case you missed it during celebration they'll probably have another promotion um, who knows they don't really tell us um, much in advance so we can't really say when the next starter kit promotion will be coming but the deal is always a good one so keep that in mind okay love to have you get that starter kit deal anytime and become a part of our inkspired stampers group as well um, okay I think we are almost ready to turn the camera down. I just want to make sure, kind of scanning around here. The last thing that we're going to do is, I always like to remind you guys, especially if you haven't watched in a while, we make two projects every single time I do Facebook Live. If you put an online order in, you get the projects that I demonstrated on our last Facebook Live, which happened to be, Kathy Hilliard asked me, can you make some uh, St. Patrick's Day cards on Facebook Live? And so we made these on our last Facebook Live, these super cute, fun, um, uh, St. Patrick, I was like Thanksgiving. I'm thinking, no, that's not right. These super cute St. Patrick's Day cards. Hello, Tracy, on our last Facebook Live. So if you ordered through me, use the host code and spent at least $30, you're definitely going to get these two cards as a thank you from me in the mail. Thank you, Tracy. I like loved these. The green, so fun. Um, do you see so much um, like kind of home decor right now too um, out in the stores like for St. Patrick's Day and it makes me want to like scoop up a couple things and like make the house fun and festive and green right now. So we'd have to do that. We'll see. Um, anyway, 
anyway, so you get these two cards as a thank you for me for ordering. Your name is also in the drawing to win the Honey Bee Home stamp set. This beautiful stamp set. We are going to draw right now for this. But I also want to remind you, if you bumped your order up to $50, you got to pick from either the free embellishment for March, which are these super fun resin stars, or the Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial. 16 projects in here, step-by-step. And kind of flip um actually the theme for march was kids and baby birthday cards so if you need any of those ideas we'll kind of flip through here you guys can see right so full color pictures step by step exactly how to make all of these projects in here that is your option with a 50 dollars order either the tutorial or the free embellishment plus you got a celebration item if you ordered before february 28th and i'll still give you a celebration item if you spend 50 dollars right now through me so Okay, let's do our drawing for this Honey Bee Home stamp set. The names are in the drawing for the Honey Bee Home stamp set. Thank you so much for your orders, ladies. I do appreciate that. Like I said, it, what's keep, it, it is what keeps me being able to do these Facebook Live videos, which I love to do for you. So thank you. Thank you for that. Okay, here we go. One awesome lucky winner is, I thought I had two in my hand. Ah. Okay, Miss Melissa Garalski. All right, congratulations, Melissa. You are the winner of the Honey Bee Home stamp set. So I will get that sent out to you along with those cards. Okay, all right, and all my drawings done. But, oh, I have to remind you or tell you, I guess not remind you, but let you know that what we're going to give away on our next Facebook Live, if you order through me using the host code, we have a new host code for March. It's already on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com. When we flip the camera down, I'll give you that too. Plus, it's always in the details above this Facebook Live video too. So we're going to give away the super cute, the Tulip Fields stamp set. This is another one of those awesome stamp sets that just so, so cute. And then there are are the dies that coordinate with it also. Um, so I think lots and lots of fun with the Tulip Field stamp set. They're actually, it's all images, no sentiments. So I don't even have to read anything to you guys on this one. Um, but yeah, this is what we'll give away on our next Facebook Live, the Tulip Fields stamp set. Okay, I'm clearing my table off because I think, let me just do a double check, but I think, yeah, we are ready. Okay. Hello, Susie. How are you? Welcome. Okay, turn your heads away. We are flying through the air and we are definitely dragging this table away from the glare too. I'm going to get my... Oh, no. <laughs> you know what I did? So I um, printed this out so I can show you guys, but this is last month's host code. So I grabbed this month's host code and I threw it in the trash. <laughs> I'm going to go see if I can find that real quick. Yeah, because it's not here. I thought I I thought I thought took this old one and threw it in the trash, but apparently that's not the case. And S Susie, it's fine. You're, you're never late. You catch us whenever you can, and you can always watch from the beginning whenever that's convenient for you. Okay, let me go see if I can find that. Hold on one sec. Oh, darn it. I can't. I did that late last night. Okay, you guys are gonna laugh because I cut it in half. So I, when I make too many flyers or whatever, I don't know. It's, um, I can't stand to throw things away that are perfectly good. So <laughs> here, here, we'll flip the camera down, but here it is, ladies. There's the new host code. So we can make this work. Um, yeah, so I, I'll take all these extra flyers and cut them in half and use them as like scribble pads um, <laughs> for later. Okay, so now turn your heads away. It still works, yeah, we're good. And flying through the air, and we are gonna do some more fun stamping for you ladies. Okay, let's see. I have a new um, cover on my phone, and I'm like a little bit worried. Well, we'll see. Hopefully it stays in there, all right? Okay. If the phone goes flying, because it's kind of a tight fit, um, <laughs> we, we might just have to pause for a moment. Hey, is that gonna work? That works pretty well, doesn't it? Okay, we don't have the glare. Okay, so if I keep this together, there's our host code for March, the MQPTVPRB is the host code you wanna use if you order 
to get the projects I'm going to show you guys in just a moment. But in the meantime, okay, you guys, I am so stinking excited about these cards. This is my class to go. All right, we're just, I got to get rid of this because that's bugging me. Class to go for this month. So stinking cute. Hold on, I got to get a sip of water where you guys kind of take in some of the details. So fun and bright, right? Mm. Okay, so yes, these cards are going to make you happy. At least they made me happy. When I look at them, I'm like, I just smile. Okay, so Cactus Cuties is this class to go. Featuring, what do you think? The Cactus Cutie stamp set. We've got Hope Your Day is On Point. I think that's kind of cute when you think of like prickly pear cactus, right? Just a note and hello. And then all of these sweet, cute, fun images. Hello, Brenda. Oh, from Arizona. Perfect timing that we're talking about the Cactus Cutie stamp set. You know these um, cactus well, I'm sure. So the fun thing is there's also the punch. So this pot is punched out right there. That top of the cactus is right there. That little flower is right there. And then this little piece that is kind of like the is it the swirl cactus, I think, um, is maybe like, well, like that one. And then these little buds that kind of pop out from there. That is that. It's upside down, so it's a little hard to tell. But so, so, so cute. So fun. I had a great time. And when I, I always have to look on Pinterest to kind of get my wheels turning and get some inspiration. And a lot of the cards were using kind of like the deeper greens and like the evening evergreen and um, soft succulent. And then I saw some like fun, bright colors on the cards. And I thought, oh my gosh, I, that is absolutely what we have to do are the front fun, bright, bold colors on the card. So that's what I went with. Um, let's see. I'm going to tell you, actually, let me show you the cards first, okay? So you guys know, generally, always in my class to go, we make four cards and then two of each of them. So and you can always change out the sentiments. I always love to say that. If you want them all to say just a note or hello or hope your day is on point, you can do that. Just switch out maybe a little bit different size piece of paper, but they should all work. So this first one, just a note and love that evening evergreen, the window pane check ribbon too, right? Hope your day is on point. Sorry, I need to be down there a little bit more. Hello. Oh, and there's that ribbon too, that in color ribbon that could possibly be retiring. And then here's another just a note. The little, that's my favorite part about um, the whole thing is these cute little flowers that pop out from um, the cactus. Okay, so those are the four cards. Option number one includes the Cactus Cutie stamp set, the Cactus Builder Punch, a full bolt of that Evening Evergreen window pane check ribbon, a full package of the polished dots, which I know are on back order right now, but they should be um, becoming available just in time to get them ordered before um, the end of the RSVP kind of time frame for the class to go. So I think we should be okay with that. And then you also get a full package of the in color. Hello, Linda, how are you? Thanks for joining us. This is the 2021-2023 uh, in color designer series paper, which I forgot to bring that package over, but you get a full package of those are six by six pieces of designer series paper to use to make your cards. Um, you actually get this ribbon for free in option number one, plus the PDF tutorial that tells you step by step how to make your cards, gives you colors, item codes, dimensions, everything that you need to make these cards. Option number one is $70. Option number two is if you already have the Cactus Cutie stamp set and the punch, you're going to need these things to complete your card. So don't get option number two if you don't have these yet. Or if you're a demonstrator, order these on your own and then just get the rest in option number two, which is getting the full bolt of ribbon, the full package of the dots, the full package of the 2021-23 in color designer series paper, and the PDF tutorial. That option number two is $42. If you need the kits shipped to you, it's an addition nine dollars for priority mail shipping um option number three is pdf tutorial you want to do everything on your own that's fifteen dollars you can order that anytime even after the rsvp deadline passes and then option number four is for my downline they can get the pdf tutorials for free actually and then they can get the make and takes all the parts and pieces for just twelve dollars i'll send them the ribbon the dots and the designer series paper they need their own stamp and punch to complete the cards so option number four is twelve dollars for any of my current inspired stampers members rsvps 
are due, I think it's three weeks from today, Friday, March 25th, and the kits will ship out no later than April 6th. So I would love to get one of these super cute kits sent out to you. I think you're just going to have so much fun playing with these cards. Like I said, every time I look at them, they just make me smile. And you can do that for someone else then too. Make them smile when you send them that card. Okay, mm, find my grid paper here. Oh, that's right, I have my paper pumpkin grid paper. So cute, right? Paper pumpkin, it's better than a box full of puppies. <laughs> Do you think that's true? Maybe, maybe in some cases, right? Okay, so again, we are going to play now. I'll show you guys this. Oh my gosh, I just love this paper, right? With this um, artistically, what's it called? Now I can't even remember. I have it. Art abstract beauty designer series paper is what we're going to play with okay so there's one side is my am i going to be able to flip this over and there's the other side of the paper love this paper okay plus i did some fun folds Ooh, i didn't even pay attention to that one oh because i used all of that on my last project i didn't even really see that pattern very pretty hello miss diana thanks for joining us okay so yes we are going to make our fun projects now we have and i like i said i made some fun folds so here's this first. This one is Welcome Little One with that cute little lammy, right? And it stands up. Good morning, Diana. Uh, stands up like that, if you guys can kind of see that, right? So it's kind of a little accordion fold, right? So it still opens like this, like a normal card would, but you've kind of got this little, gosh, there we go, that little flap right there. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started making this project. Okay, I have a few ink pad colors that we need, so we're gonna do that. And some fun stamping. All right, let's see. I've got my notes here too on dimensions. Okay. So lots of pieces here. We are gonna start with our standard. This is a piece of balmy blue cardstock. Sorry, I put my ink pads over top of everything, but you guys kind of get the idea here, right? This is an eight and a half by 11. I guess I can do that, right? I can pull that down a little bit. That's still in view. Let's see, there we go. <laughs> Thank you, Diana. I like the fun fold too. Um, okay, so here we go. Our balmy blue cardstock along the eight and a half inch side, we cut at, at four and a quarters, quarter inches, sorry. And then along the 11 inch side, we scored it at five and a half inches, just like a regular tall standing card that we would make. Then we have a piece of magenta madness cardstock. Where did my notes go with the sizes of everything? because I want to make sure I tell you this right. Hmm. Well, okay. I think I'm just gonna have to figure it out on my own. Here we go. <laughs> Three and seven eighths by 10 and one quarter magenta madness scored at two and a half inches and five inches. Okay, so this piece folds like mm, this. Oh, that's why. I'm like, that doesn't seem right. It's going to go there. It's going to do that and that. There we go. And then it's going to lay on top of the card. Okay? So that's kind of the idea how you get that piece right there, right? And then, I'm going to move that one up there. We have some designer series paper. Okay. So we have this piece right here that goes on there. This one measures three and three quarters by five inches. Okay, so that's gonna go on the front. Then we've got this piece right here that goes on the front flap that measures, let me make sure I have that right, two and one quarter by three and three quarters. That one's gonna go right there. And then this one is the same size here also. Again, I'll confirm that. Yep, two and one quarter by three and three quarters. Okay, and then on the inside, I used a piece of basic white cardstock that measures the four inches by five and a quarter. And then just a little strip. This is just an extra piece from when I cut basically that measures one by four inches that's gonna go right there. And then we just have some extra pieces for our stamping and die cutting right here of basic white and balmy blue cardstock. Okay, so let's see. We're gonna do our stamping. 
So let's get that going. Actually, this is just die cutting, so we'll scoot that over here. Um, we are actually going to die cut this piece here and then do our stamping on it because I want to get it, the little flower in the right place. But we're going to stamp our little lamb and our hello little one. And I'll tell you, those came from, so the hello little one comes from Love This Celebrating You stamp set. Lots of great sentiments, actually 16 different sentiments in here. We've got, you are every bit of wonderful, happy Father's Day, happy birthday, welcome little one, that's the one we used right there, grateful to celebrate you every day, I love that one, happy Mother's Day, happy Easter, so proud of you, thank you, congrats, so many more still, right? Happy anniversary, just for you, lots of love. The best is yet to come. You're on my mind and in my heart and wishing you a happily ever after. So awesome sentiment stamp set. And then we're gonna use the little lamb right here from the Hippo Happiness stamp set also. And as I'm thinking about that, I will make sure to tell you all of the dimensions, all of the products, item codes, Everything that we used, the colors to make these cards will be on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com this afternoon so that you can order and make these on your own as well. Or order whatever you want and I'll send you these cards as a thank you. Okay, so let's see. We are going to stamp. I want my welcome little one. I'm going to do that in balmy blue. And that's the other great thing. You guys know how awesome that is. Stampin' up coordination, color coordination with our colors of ink and our cardstock, right? Balmy blue ink, balmy blue cardstock makes it so easy to coordinate. I guess I don't need that piece. Why do I have that there? Not really sure. Okay, so we've got Blushing Bride right here. We're going to stamp our little lamb we'll give ourselves a little more room put him right there him or her i guess i kind of went with a you know it could be a boy or a girl um for this card right with the pinks and the blues i think either way welcome little one because maybe you don't know right um okay here are the little eyes nose and mouth gotta line that up for our little lamb, so cute, so, so, so cute. Okay, that was our black memento ink. Okay, I think that we can do our die cutting. So let's do that and then we'll finish up our stamping. Okay, so I've got my big cut and emboss machine, but don't forget the mini, the mini stamp and cut and emboss machine is 20% off this entire month of March. Take advantage of that. If you haven't done so already, haven't gotten yours already, I guess I should say. Okay, we are using the Hippo and Friends dies. I love these label dies. So we're gonna use both of these labels, the small and the medium, and then this little baby is our um, die for the lamb right there. And I think I've got one more. Yep, it's over here. Okay, so we're going to put this one on the blue. Actually, this one goes down there because that's just the white piece. Then we're also using the Tasteful Label dies. Um, let's see. Robin is asking, does Stampin' Up! have a black stamp pad any longer? Seems like you used... Yes. Yeah, they had some trouble, Robin, with our basic black ink. Um, the, it was almost like it wouldn't ever dry enough that it smeared on the cardstock. So I have a feeling they're probably working on the formula or something, but right now, no. Stampin' Up! in like in these um, ink pads, we don't have a basic black to offer right now. So I use the Memento pretty much all the time now. I like the Stazon ink also that's another black ink um, a permanent black ink that one takes a little bit more to clean your stamps um, that's why i tend to use my memento ink pad but either one works um, the one thing to know though is the black memento ink pad this little baby right here oh <coughs> excuse me i could feel that sneeze coming um, the black memento ink pad you're going to want to make sure to use this if you're coloring with your blends because um, this is, I'm trying to remember how it works. If the, this is a, mm, I might have it backwards, but basically this ink, mm, sorry, I feel like I'm gonna sneeze again. I'm like, 
<laughs> excuse me, plugging my nose, hoping it won't happen. Um, anyway, yes, make sure to use the Black Memento ink pad with your Stampin' Blend. So that's probably why I tend to use this one more than the Stays On, because the Stays On will smear if you stamp with the black Stays On and then um, use your blends. So that's why you don't want to do that. They, I think they're both water-based is the reason for that. <coughs> okay. Apparently, there's something in the air right now. I was doing that a little. That's why I was like a minute or two late coming on to Facebook Live, too, because I was sneezing. <coughs> oh, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Okay, maybe that was the last one. We're going to hope. Okay, so here. You're welcome, Robin. Okay, so here, our little label. Look at that one. And then we're going to stamp on this little one. But is it, these are so cute, right? Can you guys see the stitching on there also? Just so love those little labels. And then our little lamb. And then our other, this little welcome little one has stitching around it too. And look at, oh my gosh, look at how cute that little lamb is. So sweet, huh? Okay. So we've got those. All right, I'm gonna scoot that back out of the way. I think we're all set with that one there. So let's do our stamping. We want to, I'll show you guys again. We're just trying to do that little flower and then um, stem. Okay, so we're gonna start with our Magenta Madness ink. And I'm gonna put my glasses on. <laughs> I feel like that this is definitely gonna be needed, right? My glasses to try to get, okay. So we're gonna stamp our little flower, maybe. Oh, mm-hmm. Well, okay, we're just gonna cover that up with our lamb, that will be okay. I'll just have that lamb kind of pop over that little part. If I were more adventurous today, I might try to restamp that, but I don't know if I'm feeling that capability today, ladies. So we are just not gonna do that. Okay, this one and that one, there we go. So did I show you guys? Those are also um, those images. There's the little flower and the stem and the leaf all part of that hippo happiness stamp set. <laughs> Thank you, Brenda, for the bless you. <laughs> That's very sweet. I need that, I think, yeah. Okay, all right, I think we're good. We got our stamping. All right, I think we're ready to put some things together here. So, all right, I've got lots of little pieces around here. I think I'm gonna move the ink pads out of the way because they're kind of hindering me a little bit. Okay. All right, so adhesive is hiding behind my water bottle, that's why I can't find it. Okay, let's do the inside of our card and we'll get these two kind of taken care of and out of the way. Okay, I love, you guys know I do this all the time. If you don't have a little silicone mat, it's just a great little work surface so that if I run off the edge, the adhesive actually stops. It doesn't even go onto this piece instead of getting adhesive all over my grid paper. Okay, so we're just gonna add this two right along the bottom right there okay i'm gonna add some more adhesive and you run it and tip it back i finally know how to run my stamp and seal i'm still very very proud of myself because <laughs> it took me a long time to be able to do that okay next this piece is going to go right on there so we're going to do that and you want to use a bunch of adhesive i should probably just run all the way because this piece is what is kind of like running the whole rest of your card. Okay, so now I need to try to get this centered. I did, when I made this the other day, it was really um, kind of crooked. So I'm trying to take a look at it and make sure before I press really firmly that I have it where I want. Okay, so there we go. Next, we're gonna add our designer series paper. Okay, run it, tip it back, run it, tip it back. Then this little piece goes, just a little bit of that magenta madness just peeking out there, right? And then our two pieces of designer series paper that are gonna go on our other flaps. Okay, yep, all of a sudden I'm like, ooh, wait a minute, do I have the right side? But I do, we are all good. Okay, so this one, you can see on this one right here, we're gonna put the blue right inside here. 
Okay. Oh, it seems really quiet. Everyone's really concentrating, right? <laughs> and then this one goes right on there. Okay, so you can see we're plugging right along, right? Now we are going to add this piece. Oops, I don't think I tipped it back very well. That's why that one kind of did that, right? Okay, so we're going to add this one right on here. Next, we're going to put some dimensionals behind this thing. Okay, we're gonna put that little baby right there. I'm gonna grab our lamb, and actually I'll put some, I'm gonna put a dimensional, I'll show you. I'm gonna only put it on this side and I'll show you why in a sec. We're gonna put a dimensional on our little lamb, and we're just gonna do that just like that, so then you don't even really know that I missed stamped that a little bit. Okay, now this one, because I'm like a, freak I guess about I don't want it to be like I don't want a dimensional on this side because that's already popped up so I'm just going to add a little bit of adhesive here and I'm going to peel that off so then it'll be the same height if that makes sense right dimensional there and dimensional behind that white label there we go then it's not crooked there's just something about that 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 really bugs me so okay lastly we need where do we have right here this is the, what are we calling this? The Baker's Twine Essentials Pack. So we've got a bunch of kind of neutral colors of Baker's Twine. We're just gonna use our white twine. So we're gonna just make a little bow. When I made this card, there's just something, I guess I have to have texture on every card that I make. Like I made it and I was like, oh, it's cute, but it's I felt like I was missing a little something. So then I added my texture with my twine and that was good but then i i needed a little something where i'm trying to trim those down oops sorry i'm just trying to trim that down a little bit okay so we're going to put a little mini glue dot behind our twine i'm like futzing with that too much let's see okay glue dot there we go so we're just going to add our glue dot right on there and then still too long there we go um i thought okay i need a little something else so have you guys seen we have new bling this is these are called the rhinestone waves basic jewels oh my gosh can you even see the beautiful colors these this is my world right here my shades of blue and green absolutely love these colors i can't even tell you what the names of them are but we've got kind of maybe a pacific point maybe a balmy blue maybe coastal cabana bermuda bay and maybe just jade i don't even know but they're beautiful shades of blue and green brand new just offering these i think these are limited time um, we're going to play with these some more i'm going to show you some more fun projects um, probably on our next facebook live using this whole new suite of products but i just can't like i can't stop playing with these rhinestones i absolutely love these so we are going to use just a couple of the little those light blue kind of, what did I say? Maybe balmy blue, because those would work with my card, right? We're just gonna add a tiny bit of bling with these, oops, rhinestones, right there. And there we go. Okay, there is card number one. Welcome, little one. And again, I think it could be for a boy or a girl, right? So cute with that little lamb, right? Okay, so there we go, card number one. Next, okay, actually, let's see. Let's scoot these things out of the way. And, okay, I'm gonna clean these real quick. You guys have your chamois, right? Love, love, love this thing. So easy to clean your stamps. Do you see that, how I am cleaning? And then I just kind of tap it off there. And it used to be when I used my scrub, I'd have like a little shadow and then kind of get little shadows stamped all over. This one, I don't know where the ink goes. It's like absorbed in there, kind of, sort of, somehow, but so wonderful. Love my chamois. Okay, so now we have our next card. We've got another fun one, again, featuring that abstract beauty designer series paper. Oh, all right. 
We'll see you later, Miss Susie. Have a great afternoon. And thank you. I'm glad you enjoy this card layout too. It's kind of a fun one, isn't it, Brenda? Yeah. So just a simple little opening right there. Um, but again, featuring that abstract beauty designer series paper and some more of those fun gems too. Okay, so let me show you how we made this one. Okay. Let's talk about dimensions. Okay. So this one, and I know I mentioned before, but this is the driver for me um, in pretty much everything that I make. Is if I use designer series paper, I look on the package and it tells me in very small print the colors that coordinate in here. And one of them that I saw was Just Jade. So I can see this Just Jade works really, really well right here. And then gold, obviously, is another color that is included in the designer series paper. So just know that. That's like the quick, simple, easy thing to do is if you want to create a card, grab whatever designer series paper you want to use and then look at the list of colors. And then that's your cardstock that you're going to use. So here we go. We have this piece of... Just Jade cardstock, again, this is a full sheet. Along the eight and a half inch side, we cut it at four and a quarter inches. And then along the 11 inch side, we scored it. Let me make sure that's lined up at two and three quarters and five and a half inches, okay? So it's going to fold like this and then fold back like that, okay? Then we have that other piece of Just Jade cardstock. This one measures two and three quarters by 10 inches, and this one we scored at two and a half and five and a quarter inches. And it actually goes this way though, so just so you know that. So this one's gonna lay down flat, this one's gonna fold back, and that one's gonna go there. So that is gonna be that piece right there, okay? Then we have our designer series paper. This one that goes right there measures two and a half by four and a half, and then this one that goes right here measures two and a half by four inches, okay? Then we have, this is just a scrap piece of gold foil for our die cutting. And then this is a, just another piece of basic white for our stamping. And then this other little piece of basic white that goes right there measures two and one quarter by two and one half inches, okay? So those are all your dimensions. Let's go ahead, we'll do our stamping. This is gonna be super simple, actually. Um, we need our Just Jade ink, of course, that coordinates with our Just Jade cardstock. Our Thanks So Much stamp, I'll show you. Nice, easy, tap, tap, tap. Press straight down, lift straight up. Stamps beautifully every single time when you do it like that. No wiggling or rocking or getting too much ink on your stamp, right? Um, oh, I was gonna show you. The thanks so much is from the In Symmetry stamp set. Such a cute stamp set, and I love the, the cursive font on there too. Okay, so we are gonna use whatever this label punch is called. I'll find the exact name of it and post it on my blog. I should have stamped that the other way because <laughs> I barely have any room to hold on to it, but I think that looks good there, okay. There we go. Now we can put our card together. So this one, it's got a few pieces, but it's actually pretty darn simple to put together. Okay, so let's see. We're gonna do our designer series paper. I think we wanna do that one on here first. Okay, and then we can put the rest of the flippy flappy part of the card. So we're gonna put this here. So you wanna make sure not to get adhesive back behind here. You only want it on this side, okay? So kind of keep that in mind. We're gonna run one long strip there and maybe another one about there. And I think that should be good. Actually, we're gonna do that, okay? So this, you wanna line up and make sure there's about the same amount of cardstock showing and then top to bottom. I think that looks pretty good. Don't press too hard. I think we're all right there. And then it's gonna fold like that. So now we wanna put some adhesive on the back of this piece. Oh, let's see, Robin is saying it's acting wonky. That's annoying. Oh, and look at, this is wonky now too. I'm all out of adhesive. Oh, you've got to be kidding. Okay, I barely got enough for that one, but we're not gonna have enough to finish. Okay, so this one, I'm gonna have to go get some more in just a moment. You want to, fold 
Oh, okay, hold on. Let me go get some more adhesive. If you guys, well, I should show you how to replace your adhesive too, shouldn't I? If you haven't done that lately. I was super prepared today, but that's one thing I never look at is whether um, my adhesive is low or not. Okay, but here, this will be a nice little lesson, right, ladies? Okay, so we've got our refill. We open this up. Mine tends to have lots of gunk in here. So, yeah, look at that big blob there. So you want to make sure to get that stuff off. I kind of just put it right on the other, <laughs> the one I'm throwing away. And there's probably a better, like, more technical way of um, cleaning this off, but that's what I do. I just kind of use my fingers and get that all cleaned off. Okay. And then you want to try to actually get it off your fingers. There. I think we're good. Now, so those two little points and two little holes, line those up. Pop that in, oops, and then put that on the other side. And you're all set. Okay, now I wanna add a little bit more. I thought maybe that would be enough, but I'm realizing um, maybe not. There, okay, so again, line this up as if you're laying the card flat and then press down and your adhesive's gonna go right on there. Okay, now we wanna add a little bit of adhesive on this piece, and this is where you'll write on the inside of your card, right? And then we've got, ooh, I love. Oh, that's so cool, isn't it? That paper's so pretty on that side also. I really like that. Okay, this piece is gonna go right on here. This is such pretty paper too, isn't it? Just beautiful, the gold kind of accents and details. We need to do one die cut on our gold piece. Again, with our tasteful label dies, we are gonna use this big label right on there. So let's do that. Okay, I'm wearing my slippers today and they seem to be making a lot of noise. <laughs> Well, probably because I've had to run around so much too, huh? Okay, I'm just gonna put that right on there. Make our cut here. And that's the only thing we need to die cut. So that's pretty quick and simple. Again, that does kind of add a little bit of stitching around there too, which I, I love the stitching. Okay, so now we need some dimensionals behind this one and also behind that one, okay? So we're gonna add these right to our, add that label to our card and then this, thanks so much, right there, right? Now we get to play with our pretty gems. Again, the rhinestone waves, basic jewels, Oh my goodness, and we're gonna use these green. I'm calling them just jade um, because, you know, they could be, right? We're gonna put one on that side right there and then one more right there. And then I just had to add one more little touch. So we are gonna finish up with our, this is, what is this called? The Fine Art Ribbon, yes. And it's just got some beautiful gold flex in it. So I thought it worked really, really well with this project. And oh, Lily is here. I'm almost done, Lily. We are gonna go try acupuncture for Lily. Hopefully she's like laughing at me in the kitchen right now. We're hoping to cure her of her headaches and we're at the point of, okay, let's try acupuncture and see if that will help. So we're praying, <laughs> praying that this is the thing that finally makes the headaches go away. Okay, there we go. All right, there it is, our thanks so much. So cute, the little flippy fun fold card for you as well. Okay, so ladies, if you, well, where is, <laughs> here's the other piece I cut in half that I always like to pull out, right, to kind of 
finish off my Facebook Live if you can read this, right? <laughs> if you put an online order in of at least $30, you are going to get both of these cards as a thank you from me. Make sure you use the host code, the MQPTV. PRB. Your name is also going to go in the drawing to win the Tulip Fields stamp set. And if you bump your order up to $50 or more, you get to pick from the Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial or the Resin Star Embellishments as a thank you from me. Plus, I still have celebration items, so you can get one of those as well while supplies last. Okay, serious crafter math has happened on this table. Holy mackerel. Thank goodness Lily's here to help me clean it up. She's looking at me very cross-eyed. Okay. All right. Thanks, ladies. Hope you guys have a great weekend. And thank you so much for hanging out with me. Bye, everybody.